What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to assign spaces to zones in the building and verify the zones using the system browser window. So zones allows you to control the spatial environment and to perform an accurate heating and cooling loads or cooling load analysis. So for you to be able to create your zone, so you need to create first spaces because zone is a collection of spaces. Okay, so that's why from our last video, we learned how to create and place space, right? All right, so the first thing that we are going to do in this exercise is we're going to modify the visibility settings of the spaces because I don't, I don't want to see this uh, symbol of spaces here. So we will be using our visibility graphics override. So let's type VV or VG or you can also click edit here from the view properties click that one and it will show you the visibility graphic overrides for your one dash mac all right so let's look for the space letter s this one so i'm gonna expand the spaces here and i don't want to see the reference okay so let's click and check the reference and then just select your okay and there you go so it's now more tidy so we can read clearly the name of the spaces here so let's say for example this area here these are the spaces that i would like to place into one zone okay so let's do this so we are going to use now our zone tool so from the analyze tab spaces and zones panel you can see here the zone so let's click this one and then after that from the mode panel you have two options here so you have add space which is the default uh, selection and then the other one remove space so if you want to remove a space from a zone so you can use remove space but for this one we're going to use add space which is already selected so let us now select our spaces so let's say i'm gonna start here on my bp marketing so i'm gonna select my space here so make sure you are selecting the space like that click and then let's select also our toilet here click this one and then you will notice on our properties here as you add spaces to your zone notice the dimensions here it automatically updates which is very useful so currently we have the vp marketing and toilet one here and this is the dimension of that uh, area so we have the perimeter gross volume occupied volume gross area and occupied area and also the name okay so you can also specify the name of your zone here which is we're going to change this later on after we add all the spaces in our zone so let's continue adding so let's click this so again it continue to uh, update so i'm going to select this one so let's select store purchase room international room and hr okay so another thing that you can uh, do is that from the properties you can specify here the energy analysis you can specify the service type which if you're going to click the drop down arrow you'll be able to see here lots of option for your service type okay you can specify the coil bypass and other options for your heating and cooling loads analysis. All right, so after we add all of these spaces to our zone, so we are now ready to finish editing the zone. So let's click this one and there you go. All right, so our zone is now added. So to, to check that one, just right click and then look for browsers and then look for system browser okay you can also press f9 to show your system browser which is this one okay so that's your system browser just make sure you select zones here because you have other options so you can select system you can select analytical system analytical power distribution and then the zones okay by default all the spaces that you will be uh, creating in your project it will all be placed on your default zone okay it will be placed it inside your default zone 
because your spaces needs to be placed in a zone. So a space cannot be placed into an area without being added to a zone. So after a space is placed in an area, it is automatically added to your uh, default zone. Okay, so it is recommended to add each space to a zone that you create. Okay, so this removes the space from the default zone. So if we're going to expand our zone one here, as you can see, as I hover my pointer, it highlights also this zone here, this one, right? That one. So you can expand that so you can see all the zone or all the spaces in that particular zone. Right, okay. So now the next thing that I'm going to do here is let us change the name. Okay, so let's change the name. So let's click the zone one here and then let's select here the name. So let's change that. So I'll just call this um, office dash north dash zone and then apply. There you go. So it's now updated here. Okay. So if you want to uh, show the reference of your zone, you can control that using your visibility graphic override. So you can go to VV and then from the model categories, you can move the slider down and then look for HVAC zones. This one, expand that. All right. And then you can tick the reference lines and then OK. And there you go. So there's now your zone. So you can drag that if you want. You can relocate. You can place it there. Then click outside. That's it. Right. And then let me just turn it off again. So let's go to HVAC zone. Reference lines. OK. There you go. You can actually select that even if the reference lines is turned off. Just hover your pointer like that. So you can hover your pointer to select also your space. You can hover your pointer around this area to select also your zone. Okay. Right. So basically that's how you create your zone. So we are not going to add all the zones here because it's very simple. Okay. So same procedure if you want to create a zone here for this area. So same procedure. Just use the zone tool and then use the... Uh, add spaces uh, option for you to be able to place it into your zone. Now, let's say, for example, you want to remove the VP marketing space from the zone. So no worries. Just select again the zone. And then after that, just edit the zone. And then you can select here, remove space. Click that one and then select the space. So it's now removed here automatically your system browser will update as well as well as the properties of your zone here then once you're finished just click finish editing zone and that's it right okay so basically that's how you uh, create zones all right so hopefully you learned something from this video guys if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day